Let's finish this chapter off. Now oh, I need to switch to Gumbella, but I want to get those titles. I think it's a pretty easy fight if you have all the defensive options on. You shouldn't be able to hurt you. Alright, let's go to Goombella. She gonna tattle him, and then he's gonna die. Yeah, the fist things, those you have to watch out for. I think the shooting stars, we should be fine. Uh, I guess I'll go for... Aubrey or Coops? Let's go for Coops. I don't really use them all that much. Lift. Yeah. Holy shit, I got the four four. Finally. Probably the peak I'll ever. I don't think I'll do it better than that. Oh, he wasted his turn. Those babies are gonna go away. I probably should have done that on Koops' turn because I could do more damage with Mario than Koops. Whatever. This is too difficult of a fight, anyways. Oh, we got Fog. Oh, I forget this is a move that you can do. I think we're here. Pretty buffed up. So can you use the crowd cannon? Yep, he is. Thankfully this isn't that bad if you have defense on. On the power lift. Probably missed some too because of the fog. <laughs> All the voices of the audience members getting flung out.
I think this is the last turn Fog is going to be on our side. I think I finished it off with Koopas' Shell Slam. Finish it off, Koops. That was a nice finish. That's all the BP we're gonna get for the rest of this game. Now just HP, I guess. Don't need it, but eh. It's gonna be better for the uh, Bone Tail fight. Because I know I suck at guarding uh, Bone Tail's attacks. Crump is dead. Shot him at light speed. <laughs> what crystal star is this? Well, I guess it doesn't tell us what specific crystal star it is. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about a peach interlude, because she's already kidnapped. But she was kidnapped before, but she's not here anyways. And then I don't think Bowser's really does anything either. I think he's at Poshly Sanctum or something. Yeah, that's right. Thankfully, it's just a short chapter. Just go down the hall and realize it's a fake crystal star. I guess you could talk to. Oh, well, Toodles is here. I don't remember her being here. <laughs> That's funny. Rich people talk. <laughs> I am Koopa Koot. Oh, he disappeared. I would like to have done Koopa Koot, but Phil didn't fit Bowser that well. I remember he breaks it just by stomping. Yeah. Oh good, we don't have to walk down the halls, that's nice. Too bad they had to deal with another fake. <laughs> oh, 
I am Koopa Koot. <laughs> so he does know who Koopa Koot is. <laughs> Did he say fake? It sounded like Bowser kind of said fake in his voice. Who he just perches on his f head there. I know a certain robot who would know how to get it. Or, I know a certain robot who would know where Princess Peach is. A certain robot who has evidence of Princess Peach taking a shower. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's a stupid joke, but I kind of like <laughs> just ha running that joke into the ground. If I did a hint, will it tell me that I should probably check on tech or something? Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, but we can go to tech though. I have something to give you. A video of Princess Peach. Please, send this to everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so stupid. <laughs> I'm ruining such a heartfelt moment, <laughs> I know. Oh, God. I used to be able to do this a robot voice. Uh, I kind of forget how it goes. Let me see if I can do it with the uh, tech. Princess Peach is with Grotus, heading to the Palace of Shadow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how that sounds. <laughs> I remember I used to do it a lot better, but uh, now it's kind of hard to do the voice. But if you do like a, a more monotonous voice, like the way most people do robot voice, like Mario, use the teleporter room. But I think if you use that tone with that voice trick, because you have to like suck in air while you do it, so like... Mario... Or no. Mario... Use the... Teleporter room. Oh, and it just sounds kind of weird. <laughs> I used to be much better at it before, but now it's just ass. All AI functions? Hmm. I mean, couldn't we, like, take your, uh, like, memory, like an SSD of you or something, and that way we can just put you in another computer and you'll be all set to go? I mean, Mario's got the gas, she could probably get a pretty cool setup for you. I'm gonna have to leave you stranded here. Goodbye again, Tech. I'm getting Space Odyssey vibes now, which is the red light. I mean, tech's supposed to be a reference to Space Odyssey, but this makes it even more, more apparent. Oh, that's so cool. You can hear the music still. 
I wonder if it does anything if you go in here. I like how there aren't any alarms going, just the sadness of having to leave tech here. It's pretty nice. Well, it's a horrible feeling, but it's also great just like to help get the emotions going of like, oh, I'm so sad I don't want to leave tech, you know? I would kind of like it if like there was some emotional or the instruments rising a little bit just to help get that emotional appeal even more. Here are the alarms. Is this place about to blow? So like, you can go back there later. Why, why, why is it exploded? When, when you can get back there later after the game. Well, business as usual. You're not frankly. You're a poser. Frank, we all know frankly never leaves his house. You're dupless. Whatever you say, Dupless. Um, let's go do some troubles. Oh, Dazzle, I got all the star pieces. Ghosty. <laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> he possessed a good trade conductor, that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's so fucked up. <laughs> Zesty hit Flavio, that's cool. <laughs> Don Gumbari. I think that kid's got spunk. <laughs> wink, wink. So there's definitely going to be more of that, I guess. Finally got quick change. Missing some? Where did I miss one? Is there one in Far Outpost I missed? I'm gonna guess Far Outpost because I don't remember any other place. Because I got all the stuff in Rogueport. the left side of the game. Oh, it must have been behind it. 
Oh, I missed a star panel? Huh. Alright, well, let's go to the warp. Oh, I think I need to go to Thousand Year Door first. And then we can go to the warp room. I have here. Let's go with Mouse. I don't think I've ever had Mouse here. You're not real. I think it's funny how the first crystal star and the last one look the same. It's just one uh, has like more colors reflecting off of it. More maybe it's like a rainbow crystal star. Couldn't just make it like purple or something. Ooh, that's a nice effect. Thanks, Miss Mouse. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I got troubles to do, you know. People in Rockport, they got issues. And I'ma fix it. Alright, so first thing we're doing, getting that last star piece. The last war point. Should be right here. There it is, yeah. Woohoo, all well done. Now we can go to Dazzle and get that last badge. Wonder if I'm gonna get an email about it again. It's like all the other stuff. I didn't get anything for Shine Sprite, so maybe not. That guy's got an arm on him to be able to throw those hammers that far. Here you go, Dazzle. I can finish your collection for you. Can't trade anymore, bro. Oh, we're all done. Let's go look at some troubles. Because I think after I finish the troubles, I'm going to call this recording session done. Because I think I'm going to do the pit next. And then after I beat the pit, um, start chapter 8.
Oh, nothing new. What a bummer. Where's the real Frankly? I wish you could find the real Frankly. Is that one that you find down there? That's not him. This one's kind of annoying to do. Uh, let's do this one. This is a funny uh, trouble. I can't believe I'm almost done with this game. <laughs> it's been a while trying to play this game. I don't play it all the time. I play it like... Maybe like twice a week maybe to do these sessions. Because I get kind of uh, tired from work. So when you go here... Let me uh... Do this. Also, let's check out the art. For this chapter. Oh, it's a nice room. <laughs> Look at the different versions of the moon. I don't like that one. That one looks horrible. All the other ones are fine, but that that one right there just looks bad. Well, that's kind of cool. You can see more of this area. <laughs> oh no. Is that the menacing... Uh symbol in Japanese. Oh, I love that architect. The way the building is shaped here. I love that. Oh, they got Dupree. Also, Miss Mouse, look at her. Oh my god, her ears are shaped like hearts. That's amazing. I love these drawings of her. Also, her with the blue mask is interesting. It's the three Merles. Merlovely. Or I think that's Merlovely. Merlin and Merly. The Piantas. Oh, they were going to have a... Uh, Monty Moles. That would have been cool. A Don Monty Mole. Maybe they were going to do those instead of the, uh, whatever Gus and the, uh, that snail guy is. That's cool. Oh, wait, it was different, right? Oh, this is when you're on the ice. I'm surprised it didn't have a specific name. Just Chapter 7. Oh, the last crystal star is just a crystal star? Is it actually? Diamond star, emerald, gold, ruby, sapphire, garnet, crystal. <laughs> really? They could have made it something else? Is a crystal crystal star. That's funny. Thought it was something else, man. Oh yeah, the whole reason I <laughs> did this is so I could... I have to be Luigi. My bro's not gonna come over here. Well, he will, but... You can't get him over here. Luigi will come over there by himself.
Oh, a chocolate cake. You gonna tell me the recipe? <gasps> uh. <laughs> Police. <laughs> <laughs> Maru, Maru, you fuck. Elaiji, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, poor Luigi. <laughs> Maru, you're a horrible brother. <laughs> uh, that's probably my favorite trouble. <laughs> poor Luigi. Mario is such a shithead in this game. <laughs> Alright, um... I don't want to do the gold bop one. <laughs> that one's kind of like a mini general white thing. Although it's not too bad now, so maybe I might do that one. I'm gonna swap to uh, Yoshi. Cause I gotta go fast. As a hedgehog once said, Also, that same hedgehog said, uh, sexual or being touched inappropriately is no good. Oh, look, another quest that tells you about a recipe. If only there were more of these. I don't still have that honey candy, do I? I think I might have sold it. Oh, well, it's not too hard to make. Wait. Maple candy isn't a thing, isn't it? That's where the jelly candy and honey candy is a thing, but maple candy isn't? How did I not realize it till now? Right, that's not a recipe, I don't think. Yeah, you got cocoa candy, which why, why cocoa candy? <laughs> why does it make it maple candy? The next Ouija book. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of Ultra Shrooms. I forgot about that. I don't want to... I'll just cook them maybe? Because, uh... Shroom steaks, what are they? 30, 10 FP? Maybe. And to be honest, it's much better than just having the regular Ultra Shroom. I guess I could turn them into, uh... The Shroom Crepes. Those are better. I'll turn one of them into a Shroom Crepe. And I can use the warp pipe to get straight to Gob, so that's nice. Because if you can believe it, freaking Far Outpost never had a warp pipe for it. Can you believe how dumb that of an idea that was? Don't know what the developers were thinking. They also didn't give Glitzville and uh, Twilight Town their own warp pipes, too. I might get a. I want to get two more of those, but I might get them later. Oh wow, I'm almost at three hours. I, I think I did like three recordings today. Did one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one, I guess, right now. Later in the night. Yeah. I don't wish they didn't have those little descriptions in front of them. 
I feel like it's kind of obvious to know where these things go. Like the little uh, floor beneath them. Here you go, Gob. At least you get the recipe out of it, I guess. Alright, um... So there was Gold Bob and then Mayor Dower. I guess we'll do Mayor Dower first. That's just to... Petalburg, uh... Bogley Woods, and then back to, uh... Twilight Town. Maybe Glitzville? I don't remember. There was a guy I was watching who, he did a, I think he played all of this game in like two or three days. That's crazy. Like, I like this game, but after a couple of hours, I can't, <laughs> I can't play a game for that long. There are times where I do play Minecraft, but I feel like, uh, I have like this weird relationship when playing Minecraft. Like sometimes I like playing it and sometimes I turn it on and then I just <laughs> shut it back off because I just don't feel like playing it. And then there are times where Minecraft just like, I waste the entire day playing it. Or spend the entire day playing it, because that sounds a lot nicer than wasting it. Although, I do kind of feel that way about playing Minecraft, it's just I'm just wasting time. I have fun playing it, but also have that feeling of wasting it. So we need to go here. I don't feel like I'm wasting time playing this, so I'm enjoying it. Also because I, I am recording this one, so it feels like there's stuff I'm doing. Whereas when I play Minecraft, I just play that for myself. I don't <laughs> I don't think that'd be fun for anybody to watch. Why is that something? I help save your town. Why why are you being so sassy towards me? No Princess Peach or er, no Goombella. <laughs> Princess Peach. No Goombella, we have to do this. This is important. This is of the utmost uh priority at the moment. Think of the coins that we can get. We're gonna get 30 coins out of this. 30 coins is a lot. I'm curious, ground pining doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Yo, Croup sang this. Ain't no dirty thief. Oh wait. Who am I supposed to take this to? Don't tell me it's a great tree first. Wait, what? Do I have to go to the great tree first? I thought it was crew. Hmm. Well, maybe I should have paid attention to what he was saying. That's what I get for not paying attention, I guess. Oh, 
Well, I just adjusted my mic, so hopefully I sound a little bit better, because it is a bit directional. So, <laughs> if I sound a lot better now, oh, that's going to suck. <laughs> uh, but it was just a little bit off, so shouldn't be too bad. Okay, I got to get her first. Okay, now we go to Petalburg. I definitely gotta stop soon because I'm feel like I'm about to get a headache soon, so that's that's never fun. So probably take a some ibuprofen or something after this just to make sure it doesn't get worse. It's nothing like a headache to just ruin a day. And you don't want it to get worse and turn into a migraine either. Well, this this uh, trouble's pretty much done. Normally for me, the best way to avoid getting headaches is one, drink plenty of water, that helps a lot. Make sure, and two, is uh, make sure you're eating them the right amount because either hunger or, or thirst are usual causes for me in uh, getting headaches. And the third case is just um, focusing too hard on things, usually being on like the computer or something for too long. Uh, that last one really uh, is the cause for it. It's usually I forget to drink enough water or yeah, 30 coins. This is super important, Gobella. Yeah, either I don't drink enough water or I forget to eat. But I ate plenty today and I've been drinking water decently, so. Maybe it's just recording for so long, I guess. Because normally if I do play a game, I'm not like talking out loud. I'm... I'm thinking these things, but I don't say them out loud. And having to find a way to be entertaining, <laughs> if this is entertaining at all to some people, I don't know. I do get some views on my videos, so... It's entertaining to some people. And I appreciate you watching. I really do. All right, just one more trouble, right? I save the worst for last. No, I don't want to, but if I want to get this done, and this isn't the last trouble. There is stuff post game, but and we will deal with that when we get to it. Yeah, I don't know how people could, like, like... I watch people stream stuff, but I watch it, like, their VODs on YouTube and stuff. Because, like, I can't watch live content, it's just not for me. <laughs> but, like, how can you be so... Or try to be entertaining for so long? That's just gotta suck. One, because you're talking too much, and then two, just attempting to be funny. I mean, some people just can do it normally. Oh, I went to the wrong place. Got a little ahead of myself there. But you're doing that for like several hours every day? That's crazy. Because I don't record every day. If I did, I think I'd be done with this series a long time ago when the game came out. 
Because what the game came out like a month ago. Or no, like two months ago. It came out in May. I should have been done with this by now. But I've been busy with stuff and just not feeling like recording, so. I don't want to force myself to record stuff if I'm not feeling it, because then. I'll probably just not. <laughs> I'll just stop doing it if I'm not enjoying it. If he's not there, I'm gonna be so pissed. I know he's not there. <laughs> Don't worry, I know. Things are never easy with General White, unfortunately. But we got the warp point there, so. It's all good. I think that's a good um, advice. If you're just not feeling like doing something, just don't do it. I mean, if it's like for your work, I guess that's somewhat different, but. But usually if you're doing something for like a hobby or something, just don't force yourself if you're not feeling it. Because there were times when I was uh, working on uh, programming projects, um, I just felt like I kept arriving at like a wall i couldn't get anything done the best thing for that is just to take a break and maybe come back a day after see what you can do but if it's like a job or something i can see the stress in forcing yourself to do it because you have to otherwise you could probably get in trouble with your work or something or if you're like self-employed <laughs> the stress of, i have to get this done or else i'll lose a customer or i won't have enough money to pay bills that's that struggle is definitely real There's a thing I was doing uh, where I was programming a Banjo remake, and I think I want to go back to it. Because I do want to remake uh, the three Banjo-Kazooie games, and just there's uh, three of them. I'm not talking about Nuts and Bolts. Um, there's Banjo-Kazooie, obviously, Banjo-Tooie, which a lot of people don't like, and then there's Banjo-Kazooie's Grunty's Revenge, which is a Game Boy game, but I would love to remake that game. But first, I need to be able to remake the first and then the second game, and then uh, remake the third game. Right, it seems like we're almost done with this. Uh, Goose, Goose Chase 2, Electric Boogaloo. But one thing I was doing uh, with on that when I was working on that remake is that I was just doing small things a day, not trying to do too much. Maybe like work an hour or two hours on it a day, and that felt really nice. It felt like I was slowly making progress, and I got some stuff done. I got like some basic movement, uh, basic swimming. Uh, I got collectibles, some basic UI stuff. Uh, from there, I need to work more on the the more specialized moves that you learn in the game. Uh, get that movement down a lot better. But that's just more of a personal project for me, just to be able to remake the game. I think that's a really cool thing, just to be able to program it. Because, like, if you can make Banjo Kazooie, you can make Banjo Tooie. And then, if you've made Banjo Tooie, I mean, Grunty's Adventure is going to be easy to make. Obviously, uh, 
There's some differences in each one, but I mean, overall, the basic movement stuff, that's easy. And then all the other mechanics of getting to different worlds and collectibles are pretty similar. I would say banjo Tui would probably be the most complicated one to make. Which is good, because you start off some, with something simple like Banjo-Kazooie, although there are a lot of complicated things that go into it that you don't really think about. But uh, then you go to Banjo-Tooie, <laughs> where... I gotta say, that game is very impressive for the time that it was made in. A lot of people don't like the game. I can understand why. It flows differently than Banjo-Kazooie. It does. And uh, there's a lot of backtracking, but here's my idea. People don't like it because Banjo Tui is a Metroidvania in a sense, because you get different abilities that you unlock that allows you to go back to places you've been before, and it unlocks areas to reconnect places you've been. But I guess the people that really enjoyed Banjo Kazooie don't prefer that Metro Metroidvania esque. <laughs> that say that word a bunch of times um they didn't like that play style adapted they they preferred more of a collectathon than it being a uh, metroidvania although you can have both uh i think we need to go back over here to talk to him okay now we gotta go back uh, Gold Bob. <laughs> Which is weird, because I, I know some people who love Metroidvanias, but they just don't like Banjo-Tooie for that reason. That is backtracky, but aren't most Metroidvanias backtracky as well? I don't know. Maybe because it's 3D, that aspect of a 3D Metroidvania people aren't really into. I I'm still leaning towards more. It just because the first game wasn't a Metroidvania that uh, people are expecting the same thing from Benji 2 when it's not. Cool. Uh, I think I'll end it here, guys. This is a nice uh, recording session, three hours long. Did a lot of stuff. Okay, see you guys.